there's the Tower Bridge. This is a story of small accomplishments and big promises. As a young adult, I lived to the full, and like many people, life caught up on me. In February 2018, I weighed 26 plus stone. A challenge is simple. It has to be made up of the following three things. It should be hard to complete. That's personal to the participant. It can't be called a challenge if there is no chance of failure. I should be scared of failing. As Lazarus Lake, the founder of the brutal Barclay Marathons once said, you cannot have the intensity of the joy of success without tasting the bitterness of failure a few times and I should have the deep feeling of accomplishment when I finished. This is the challenge. On the 3rd of October 2021, I'm going to run the London Marathon. The London Marathon starts in Blackheath, South East London. The route indirectly meanders its way along the Thames, past several well-known landmarks, eventually ending next to Buckingham Palace at the finish line 26.2 miles away from the start line. The London Marathon has always been on my bucket list. I was born near London Bridge and grew up on the route and every year we would cheer on the runners as they passed by our house. When I decided to change my lifestyle in 2018, I knew I had to do something that would scare me into action. So I signed up for the Race of the Stones walking event. I've carried this for 100k. Wow. This was 63 miles of walking that I completed in 26 hours. Last year I signed up for another walking event, but then had to create my own local version when it was canceled due to the pandemic. So when lockdown was eased in the summer last year, I walked exactly 60 miles non-stop in 19 hours. These three events themselves, including the London Marathon, consist of only 149.2 miles, but the training and preparation is vastly longer. Walking is a gateway drug. It helped me fall in love with running for the first time in my life. In October last year, after walking thousands of miles, I decided to try the 30-30 challenge. This looked easy and can be attempted by anyone. Run non-stop for 30 minutes every day for 30 days. This I did all in support of the Princess Alice Hospice. minute run I've had since I started this. Day 10. Day 11. Day 12. Day 13. to go. Day 16, day 17, 18, 19, 20. This is day 25. This is day 27. This is day 28. Day 29. Day 30. That's it. That's 30 days of 30 minutes running complete. These last 12 months have hit us all hard. Like so many people across the country last year, I lost my grandmother and then a short while after my grandfather. The Princess Alice Hospice carers provided invaluable palliative care for both of them at the end of their lives. Ryan, so this is a message to thank you so much for walking 60 miles for Princess Alice Hospice. So the funds support um, patients in the community that would support nurses like myself 
who see, saw your nan and see your granddad, occupational therapists and physiotherapists to keep them safe and maintain their independence. And we have a wonderful team of consultants and doctors who are experts in our field. Um, so such an amazing achievement. It's been a privilege looking after your nan and your granddad. Thank you, Ryan. Bye bye. I've persuaded them to allow me to run for them in this year's London Marathon, to give me one of their valuable marathon spaces. That's what I'm dealing with. And to allow me the chance to raise as much money as I can for them. Running 26.2 miles is the next impossible challenge for me. The furthest I've run non-stop so far is 10 miles. The next few months are going to be challenging, but I've bought a new book, so that's something. set up a Just Giving page and I'd really appreciate if you could support me, but more importantly, help me support the Princess Alice Hospice, who were there for us when my nan and granddad needed help the most. Quiet, quiet, he's gonna say something. I'm pretty tired. I think I'll go home now. <laughs>